Hello and welcome back to Food with Life. We are wonderful with our wonderful guest, Dr. Valerie Marmanov. I'm Japati. Uh, we were talking about food choices and what to pick to eat. You know, whether one should have a fruit, one should have a vegetable, one should have what type of fruit, what type of vegetable, what type of uh, grain, uh, protein. Um, tell me something about it. I'm confused. Um, not only you, but so many people in, the, in this country. Yes. We think that we are free to eat what we like. It is not so. Our food choices are largely predetermined for us with our ancestry and blood chemistry. At least five uh, factors of my 13 factors affecting uh, health and longevity affect food choices. They are uh, metabolic type, blood type, Ayurvedic dosha type, yin-yang type, and five elements type. Yin-yang type is the Chinese system. Uh, yes, and uh, it divides uh, food, not only uh, people, we do self-assessment and we understand we are more yin or more yang, and then we are supposed to eat more uh, yin food or yang food, because so food is also divided in two categories. So yin yang, perhaps it, uh, you could say it, uh, male or female, or just positive or negative? Yes, yin yang is night uh, and day, sun and moon mm -hmm. and uh, male and female. You are right, right. Yes. Uh, and also examples of um, yang food is apple and yin food, for instance, water or milk or uh, beef. Mm -hmm. uh, so people who uh, have more energy and they are yang, they can afford eat right. yin food, which deprives yin food deprives energy. Yang food uh, gives energy. I see. At all. This is Awake and Bake. I am Japati, your host, and our segment is Welcome Home Remedies. Our wonderful guest is Dr. Devendra Dubey of Mumbai, India. Mm -hmm. Welcome. And we have a question for you. Many people have problems with digestion. They eat and they overeat. They get perhaps stomach ache. Uh, perhaps they eat something wrong, don't mm -hmm. feel good. Uh, is there some quick remedy that people can do to help them in this story, this situation? You can improve your digestion very easily, you know. Just you have to add few spices to that, you know. That the regular food what you cook, you know, in that f uh, while you are cooking, you know, you can add some little quantity of ginger, three or four pinches of asafoetida. What is it? Asafoetida or ask, a ask who? <laughs> it's what? a hing. Another name is hing. Hing. You Where? can get it in any Indian grocery store. Oh. Uh, then you can add little ajwine or you can call uh, it wild celery seeds, mm -hmm. okay, or some quantity like half a teaspoon of cumin powder. Mm -hmm. Just mix it in your regular food and just cook it, you know, and that you have it in a regular base. And very interesting thing is to try to eat in a proper time. Mm. What time would this be? Like, like in the morning you take a breakfast at 9 o'clock, in the afternoon you, in the afternoon you eat something like 1 o'clock. And in the evening, you eat 7 to 8 at night. So this is a proper time of eating your food. And remember, always eat when you feel hungry. Mm. Not overeat. Not overeat. Okay. okay. Good. We'd like you to try this. Thank you for watching. Awake and bake. Very good. Is there a, a what you can say, perhaps, is there times, a good time to eat, perhaps a, a good meal, the big meal of the day, or... Uh, places to eat perhaps better than other places, what would you say about this? Yeah, if we uh, consider the people, some people eat twice a day, some people eat thrice a day and four times a day, of, uh, obviously all of us know it is not good. It is like doing a harm to the body, you are not giving rest to the body. All the time if you are stuffing the food inside, the body has to work all the time. Like in a mixer, if you continuously run the mixer, no wonder it goes bad. It runs out. Yeah. Runs out. So inside also we have a mixer, and if it damages, it keeps working. Yes. Yeah. It yeah. Breaks down. You have to wait a lifetime to repair it. <laughs> but so some good. some doctors actually talk about for some people better to eat many small meals. Yeah, that is specific cases. No. If you have some type of uh, digestive disorders, then if you have um, advised by a doctor to eat small meals four or five times, then it is okay. Generally speaking, it is speaking, it is good to stick to two meals or three meals. Mm -hmm. And in this, breakfast can be very light, very good. Very good. and lunch can be the heavy meal. Mm -hmm. 
because that is the time the digest the body is prepared to digest the maximum amount of food at lunch time lunch time can you say why that is because see the sun is at the peak the sun yeah this the body in... always has a connection to the surroundings so when there is heat outside the same way there will be heat inside also the required heat for digestion will be more high peak at the time of uh, noon so lunch is the best time to eat the heaviest meal in the day the big meal so you're saying then that the body is very much connected to everything outside yeah so if the sun is high at the highest uh, i think between the hours of 12 or 2 yes. in the day this is the best time to have your big meal so that would be a good lunch and the dinner is the many people eat dinners they like to go out to these very beautiful restaurants and they have big din- big 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 dinner you know italian dinner or, or what it is whatever kind and they get an enormous amount of food. and I, I probably they think oh i get a big amount of food and now i'm very dull i want to go to sleep now with the sleep and time. this can cause a lot of uh, sleeplessness and indigestion and a lot of digestive disorders in the body Yes. So it is always good to eat light in the day. This is food with life.